Good morning, students. Today, let us know about the next two methods of asexual reproduction, that is, fragmentation and regeneration. Shall we start? Yes. So, what is fragmentation? Fragmentation means splitting into several bits called fragments. Got it? In this, the organism splits into several bits, and each bit then develops into adult organism. Got it, students? So this is seen in primitive multicellular organisms like algae and fungi. So see here, this is the algae called Spirogyra. Its name is Spirogyra. It is a filamentous algae which is made up of linearly arranged cells. See here, this is one cell, another cell, another cell like that. The cells are linearly arranged to form a filamentous structure. Got it? So, this spirogyra upon maturation, after maturation, it splits into several bits. See here, this is one bit, another bit, another bit and these bits are called as fragments. Fragment 1, 2, 3. Here only three fragments are shown. Actually, it can divide into n number of pieces and each piece later develops into adult organism. I mean adult means the fully grown spirogyra. Got it students? So this is what is called as fragmentation. So what is fragmentation? Dividing into several bits or fragments upon maturation and then each bit or fragment developing into adult organism. Got it? I hope you understood. Now let us see what is regeneration. So, regeneration is not a method of reproduction. It is not a method of reproduction, but it serves the purpose of reproduction. Either reproduction method khadu, but indirect ga reproduction ki dar tistundi. So, what is this method? Actually, it is the ability of an organism to develop its last parts when it is cut accidentally. And this bar is more prominent in simple multicellular organisms like planaria, hydra, starfish, etc. Because they have very simple body structure, body plan. Got it? So, see here, this is planaria and it is cut into three pieces here. Head piece, middle piece and tail. This head piece regenerates, that is, develops the middle piece and tail after few days and the middle piece develops head and tail tail develops middle piece and head and finally we get three planarias out of one planaria in in a few days so this ability to regenerate the last parts is what is called as regeneration and this power of regeneration is serving what reproduction got it Scientists have found that a planaria can regenerate from being cut into 279 bits. So, a planaria ne 279 bits cut chanta. Cut chest 279 planaria so chestai. So, that is the fact that scientists have observed in case of planaria. Got it? Now, similarly, our hydra also, when it is cut into pieces, develops into adult hydras again. Got it, students? But Remember, hydra reproduces by budding process that we have seen in our previous video, right? So, that is the primary mode of reproduction in hydra. But this power of regeneration helping the hydra to reproduce, got it? So, regeneration and reproduction can help just on but this is not the primary mode of reproduction. Got it, students? So, I hope you understood what is regeneration. It is just ability of an organism to regain its last parts. And this helps in reproduction in case of simple multicellular organisms. Now, what about advanced organisms? Do they have any power of regeneration? Definitely yes, but to some extent. For instance, if you take our home lizard, it often sheds its tail, right? And after a few days, the lizard develops a new tail. That is what is regeneration. It has lost its tail and has regained its tail again. But in case of lizard, it is not serving the purpose of reproduction because the lizard develops tail, but tail cannot develop the whole body. Got it, students? Did you understand the difference? So, regeneration is even seen in advanced organisms, but that does not lead to reproduction. One more fact is, in our body also, there is a structure that can reproduce, I mean, regenerate. 
not reproduce regenerate can you guess what it is yes it is liver liver has regeneration power in our body got it students i hope you understood what is regeneration and fragmentation fragmentation is purposeful breaking of primitive multicellular organisms that leads to reproduction whereas regeneration is accidental breakage accidental breakage into bits that leads to reproduction got it students i hope you understood the difference between fragmentation and regeneration too thank you